Right, we are live, hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the QB Lads channel. We are here for yet another match of the Vancouver Sevens. This one, it will be the defending Blitzbox. Oh, I mean, I said the defending, but they have been, unfortunately, beaten a few times throughout this tournament. But with the form that they look like they had in their first game, hopefully they can keep on building their way up. And Canada, they are the home side, so they are defending their turf for this matchup. And it's going to be a very exciting one. They had a good game up against Australia. Unfortunately, started well, finished poorly. And that one, but now this one could be completely different. But South Africa for their lineup: Zane Davids, Christy Grobler, JC Pretorius, Ronald Brown, Dewald Human, you know, that's Soyuz Wapi and Shilton Van Vick will be in the starting lineup. Then for Canada, it is Berner, Phil, Russell, Coates, Richard, Webster, and Prevost for this matchup. But it is going to be Dewald Human who will be kicking off this game for the South Africans to get us underway for another matchup. Of Paul CD. Let me know who you think will be able to win this game, ladies and gentlemen. But the Walt Human now about to kick this one off high. He does kick it deep towards the 22. Nice low tackle there on it would have been Cooper Coates. And now it's a penalty straight away for Canada. Now, something that I will mention is the Blitzbox discipline. It's really been letting them down in the last little while, sadly. But if they can get that sorted out, they will certainly be dangerous. Uh, this one, but it's a good kick downfield from Canada. Now, I mentioned about the fact that they started well up against Australia, actually 10 0 up at one point in that game, but then Australia fought back and won that game about 26 points to 10. So they were really able to fight hard. But Canada currently sitting 13th on the standings, whereas South Africa is sitting in first for the series standings. They do go right over the top. That's a terrible throw from Canada. And out to Wild Human passes it off to JC Pretorius. Nice run forward. And it goes over the top of JC. Well, in fact, it was Sawyer's Wapi, but he's been able to clean that up right near the touchline. Sal's the big dummy. Now it's a knock on from South Africa. And we're through the hands of the number 10 for this one, Finn Voik. Well, actually, number 10 is default humor, but I think someone else is also wearing number 10. So I'm not too sure whether or not maybe the kits were not quite fitting the right size. But Perry Baker, he will be playing in the later game. Or in fact, sorry, he won't be playing in the later game. That is due to his concussion that I believe he has got from the earlier stages. But now the scrum feed coats will be feeding in this ball for Canada as they look to impress their home side and or their home crowd. And the best way to do that is to beat a side that's had plenty of gold medals in a rank number one. Now it's going to be the advantage to Canada once again. So they are just continuing to get that time after time advantage. David Richard was the man who took the carry there. Now Coates passes it back across and I am going to tell you something about it I have last night. And there's this Brandon go for a bait, but Christy Grobler once again going to be penalized. Five minutes left in this first half. And South Africa have hardly touched the ball other than that one carry that they had until they did end up, unfortunately, having the knock on. But Coates now from the halfway line kicks it towards the touchline, does get away into touchdown. Let's go to the Canada. And there says Justin. Yeah, if Canada get themselves a win, that would be huge. Last one against South Africa was in the bronze final in Vancouver 2020. 26 points to 19 for Canada. So they can beat them in Vancouver. The overflow hasn't quite worked out for them now. And of old human. Now he's got the pace. He's just going to keep on running sideways. Goes to Sawyer's one. Be great step, but he has been tackled very nicely by the Canadian defence. I believe it was the number seven there, Brock Webster. Who was able to make the tackle. But now Christy Grobola waits for the ball at the back of the scrum. It's passed across. Another scrum penalty, or in fact, sorry, offside penalty. JC Pretorius goes straight through, and he scores the try for the blitz box. And also, we have got there uh, the uh, Canada for a shock win. Okay, I have a bad feeling you and Katie Dixon are in love. Says Brandon, where did you get that idea from, Brandon? Because I assume it's not from the, I guess you could say, from the just live stream chat. And is it illegal to stream the sevens on YouTube? Sadly, it is. Like, I know that someone is currently doing it, but more than likely they will end up getting a copyright strike and banned, sadly. But yeah, it is unfortunate how strict they are. And it seems to be a little bit of a variation of some people, they'll ban straight away. Other people, they'll let do it for ages. Like, if we tried to show any match footage, I can guarantee you we would get taken down within like five seconds. Like, just because World Rugby, they do keep a little bit of an eye on us out of the corner of their eyes. So we can't really risk anything, unfortunately. And I was like, yes. Here's Mr. PJ, but now it is going to be kicked high. And I was watching it. Wait, did it get taken down? Or is it still up? Have they still got it on their channel? 
you know, it is still going. At this stage, I do see. I have a penalty to Canada now. I was from a bed when I was asleep. And there was, uh, says Brandon. And I was aware I've got the, uh, yes, all goods uh, still up. And there was, uh, here's Mr. PJ. But yeah, if it is an option to be able to watch the game, I highly recommend that you do get that chance. Because at the end of the day, I wish it was more accessible for free. Because in certain countries, you can watch it for free on the World Rugby YouTube channel. But other countries, you can't. And I feel like they should have it just everywhere can watch it type thing. But now, I'm going to be waiting for this one. And also, you have 2K viewers. And there's us, says Mr. PJ. Yeah, it will do very well on YouTube, I would think. And I was like, it. And there says Jack. We're now currently going to be in the hands of Canada. Still hanging on to it. It is Phil Burner. It's a penalty to South Africa. Ronald Brown does decide to take the quick tap. And it seems like South Africa once again want to keep this momentum going forward. Now to Paul Sherman. Passes it back across. It's going to be Van Vick. He's got pace. But he has been tackled by his officer number. Brilliant tackle from David Richard. Wins the penalty for Canada as well. As blocked in Australia because of KO. And there says Jack. Yeah, so I know that New Zealand, because we've got Sky, we're not able to watch it. And it's only certain countries that you can actually watch it on the World Rugby YouTube channel. Uh, but they used to show the replay on World Rugby's YouTube channel. But for some reason, they've just decided against it for like this series. Like they did it for Malaga and also Sivar, I believe, were the two series that they did actually show all of the games in replay on there. Currently now, two minutes left in this game. For the first half, that is. And they do need to get this one right here, Canada. But the next game that we are going to be covering on the channel will be New Zealand versus Samoa. It is going to be an exciting one. It will be kicking off in about an hour and a half's time here in New Zealand. Then after that, we have got Fiji versus USA. And then South Africa versus Australia closing it out. And Chris View Hamish, what is your favorite Brandon? A cozy, a cozy or crazy Brandon or just a Brandon? And there's his Brandon, probably just Brandon. I guess Soya will up in with a good run. Trying to get his way down the wing, but they've been able to shut him down relatively quickly. Christy Grola now firing across the Ronald Brown. Oh, once again, good tackle on him, but it's a penalty. Quick tap taken by JC Pretorius. Now the back line. Sawyer's Wapi gets a white pass. Surely he goes in this time. He steps on the inside. They have shut him down every single time. Credit where credit is due. Alex Russell has been marking him up absolutely outstandingly. JC Pretorius. Trying to go through the gap, unable to do so now. Zane Davids, wide pass out to Ronald Brown, looking for the corner. He goes in, and the Blitzbots gets himself their second try of the match. Very nicely done. Ronald Brown with a very happy face on at the moment. And the Lord Human with a nice pass out to Sawyer's Wuppy. But once again, it's just brilliantly done. They've been able to mark him up. I believe it's Brock Webster and also Alex Russell. Just always had him covered throughout the last little while. But now Sawyer Wapi with that step on the inside. He's just a lethal player. Found it out to Ronald Brown in the end. Uh, 10 questions today, says Brandon. And there as well. But it was the defense, unfortunately, of Canada. Just couldn't quite reach out far enough. I think it was Phil Burner. I was unable to cut it off. But now kicking that one. Hits the crossbar, goes over. Silky skills from Ronald Brown there. I don't even think he realized that it went over there. He looks like he's just very casually handling it. Currently going to be the kickoff here. They are looking for the touch line for South Africa. They don't quite find it, but Canada, I would think, yep, they kick it into Dutch, and they say we will take halftime being 12-0 down because it could have been a lot worse for the Canadians now. But 12 points to nil at halftime here for South Africa. Great start to the seventh competition at the moment. Zane Davis, boy, he's a big boy. When you do see him next to someone like a devolved human or someone in their back line, I'm going to slightly lean myself back. Two questions. Uh, will you have uh, will you have a thousand mum? What will you do? So if I had a thousand mothers, what would I do? It's a very good question. I guess I get very confused. And also, I probably wouldn't have a lot of money left because by the time you buy them all birthday presents, you're looking at like... You're looking at your whole money gone, aren't you, really? I mean, you think about it. But currently, South Africa, they've been able to score two tries in the early stages of this game. First try being scored by JC Pretoria. Second try being scored by Ronald Brown. But the Canadians, they will want to get themselves straight back into this fixture. But it's not going to be easy. And it is certainly going to be a challenge. But that is what Canada will want. Home ground advantage. Vancouver, they want to see them do well. I would, uh, I would 
do each mo- wait but that's like your own mother jack <laughs> so you know <laughs> interesting to say the least south africa currently they are ranked one and they do want to win 39 games in a row that will be the next one just me in the chat and as i said brand but currently now it's going to be the second half just about to get back underway canada they are fired up they know how important this game in vancouver will be for them if they can end up getting it right but the south african side they're looking very calm at this point in time they haven't actually got yes they do in fact selvin david's coming off the bench ryan also has an mp visa all very valuable options and also we got to thank you going to bed now and there says you made choice so we will see you later on mate uh, it is hugely appreciated you being here we're going to be back for the semi-finals the quarterfinals and all of the ones in between that we can fit in of course but we will be going and starting at about 5 a.m tomorrow we went at a stake in place but currently now canada they do need to try and make up 13 points to get themselves into the lead here a ronald brown one to watch currently he's got 18 tries or 19 tries i think that's actually 18 tries yes in the 2021-22 season it's actually my first yawn in a long time so it's actually not going too badly for myself and now the second half getting back underway it's kicked i sit straight up for jc pretorius although there was a half knock on from the blitz box in the process and now it does lead to another scrum fee for canada question three uh how many shop do you have in your little city uh probably less than 50 maybe 50 around there plot twisty means stepmom not mum and then says jack even so i guess it's questionable but Probably slightly better, but still interesting. And also, morning says, Benny Wang, welcome in, mate. Hope you are doing well. I'm very excited for the Kiwis playing up against Samoa a little bit later on. Good kick there from Canada in behind. It's going to be good work there. Canada get the try, and they score it, and they can't quite believe it. Canada score it up against the blitz box, and it is going to be the youngster who has been able to put it down, David Richards. I said how impressive he had been with its defense earlier on. And also, we have got the IB all night. And there says Brandon, but that was nicely done. Kicked him behind. Bit of shoulder to shoulder between the two men. And then from there, Richard able to get on it. Managed to grab that ball. But Shelton Van Vick just wasn't quite able to win that physicality battle. And also, we have got the bar. I just don't say anything. And there as I says Brandon. Currently now, it's going to be the drop kick. Great kick for Canada. That one goes over now. And the last time that Canada were able to beat South Africa in Vancouver, it was actually 2020, so not a huge amount of time ago. And they will be hoping to possibly do the same thing here. They build them very nicely for themselves. And this one, the Canadian past three second half series came. Uh, comebacks have all been in Vancouver, 2020 and 2021. The ball pops up on the side of Canada. It is going to be available for them. And now doing very nicely. That is going to be Jake Field now. Seems like Canada have found themselves their second wind. And now driving forward extremely well. The crowd getting behind them as well here. Now looking to the short side instead. Trying to pop past. It's there Brock Webster. Getting bounced backwards by Sue as well. Big quick recycle ball here for Canada. Do you know Kiwi lads? I'd be here all night. And as well says Brandon. That's going to be nicely run by Thrill. Or Field, sorry. Now looking short side. Tries to step around. Flicks it. Back on the inside, Canada score again. And they're going to have the lead here. And now he is firing up the crowd. Coates scores it. Cooper Coates, that is. And now we are back to 12 all into this game. And there is a kick to come for Canada. The momentum shift is starting to move here. South Africa, they need this win. If they do not get this win, then it's a little bit closer. But Zane Davis trying to control that one off his foot. But all he did was just pop it back up into the hands of Canada. And then from there, around the side, it was a good run from the number four. A little pop pass up to Coates, who does end up scoring at this game on. It is indeed. And he gets that kick over. Canada take the lead with four minutes left in this uh, this matchup up against the Blitz box. Oh, they're saying from 12 nil down to 14 points to 12. The comeback has been sensational from Canada. But the big question is, can they sustain it? Because South Africa, they've got Australia in their last game. I was going to say, South Africa already won enough. And there says Jack, because they didn't end up winning their first game. But if they lose this one and lose to Australia, they will actually miss out 
on the quarterfinals. But if they do end up getting themselves a win here, I believe that that will be enough for them to be able to go through to the quarterfinals as they have been able to beat Spain in their first place. So question four, do you think I was going to say five things uh, is real? I want to go, and uh, oh, I want an up and go. I want to go to bed three. Uh, so what, four, do you want to see my YouTube channel? Uh, five, I don't know. And there says Brandon, nice run from St. David's. And now he is a brute force of an individual. He's going to get caught, though, unfortunately, for David's there. But now Selvin Davis recycles it quickly. Nice run forward for South Africa. They've got the advantage as well. MP Visa with a good run forward now. Selvin Davis shut down the guard back for the initial penalty. And that is going to be for offside right. South Africa, they are two points down. If Canada win here, South Africa miss the playoffs. That is very true. And that will all depend on whether or not Australia are able to also beat South Africa. Now Selvin Davis. I take the quick tap and we'll now be looking for the pass across. This is looking good for the blitz box. Oh, it's gone through the hands of JC Pretorius. It went back with Sawyer's Wappy. Now it takes it nicely. Another big step, but it's a great tackle there from once again. I believe that was David Richard getting involved. He has been sensational. Now pass off. It's dropped by South Africa. Unfortunately, Sean Williams unable to hold on to it. And now it's another attack and run for Canada. Thiel on the 22 currently. And they have got another two minutes that they do have to survive. And then come on, Canada. Says Paddy Wagon. It's a nice pop pass. No, he doesn't quite find it in the end. And I believe that was Nicholas Allen. It's a penalty there in favor of South Africa. And now they do take it quickly. Going for the corner. It's going to be very close. Doesn't quite get the ability to reach out. And just short of line, MP Visa off to Selvin Davis. Brilliant run from him. And he will score it between the posts. And now that will give South Africa the lead. Coming to the closing stages and shake my head. As I says, Jack, but it's on straight through. Selvin Davids ends up scoring it. But this game is far from over because if Canada get themselves a converted try now, they will still win this game and come on Springbok. And as I says, Brandon, I come on Canada. There's Paddy Wagon, but he got so close. He's so far away there for Williams. All he needed to do was just grow an neat strip, arm or two, reach it out. But he was unable to do so, but they still end up scoring the try anyway there. For the South Africans. So that is always good news for themselves. That one's going over. And I was a regular there, Brandon, in the bed. And there as well, his Betty Wagon. But now it will make the score 19 points to the Blitz box and 14 to Canada. So they will need a converted try. Even a draw would mix up the table just a little bit here. Because the harder the opposition in the quarterfinal for the Blitz box, the less chance that they have got of making it through to that possible final. Now, Selvin Davids, he kicks it long and he kicks it high. And it's taken beautifully by Canada. Good pressure in the ground. Yeah, but he did end up losing his footing. Now going short side, stripped away by JC Pretorius. That is a massive moment in the game, but it's a counter from the Canadians. And they have been able to get this ball straight back now. And they are playing like a side. They want to be able to go on and win themselves this match. Bump off of Selvin Davis. Good run for it. I believe that would have been their number 11 in this one. Elias uh, Urgas, I believe is the name. It is not a very easy one to say at all, but now Awaru going forward. Currently, Canada, they've got 15 seconds left. Like they're saying, plenty of time. They just need to make sure that they don't end up giving away a penalty or else South Africa will be able to kick this ball into touch. Come on, Springbok. There's Brandon there as well. It's a wide cutout pass. Doesn't quite work out, but now it sits up into the hands of Brock Webster. He has to try and go back with Stoles, the massive dummy, trying to go straight through. Ronald Brown able to drag him down. Sawyer's Wappy on the ball. No, it's a penalty to Canada. Now, they could take this one strategically towards the touchline and come on Canada score. And there, as I says, Betty Wagon. But currently, if Canada kick this one into touch, they will have to win the line out. And it looks like that is the option that they are going to be going with. They can make another sub. It is now going to be Nicholas Allen making his way out onto the field. And I believe that is to replace Alex Russell, I want to say. Now, like they say, I'm bringing in some fresh legs. Last one against South Africa was in the bronze final in Vancouver 2020 for Canada. So the last time they beat them, it was in Canada. So this is the perfect opportunity for the Canadians to be able to really give the home crowd something to cheer about for this competition. The men's standings currently, Canada, they're sitting in 13th on the rankings, whereas South Africa, they are sitting there in first on 98 points. Now, Going to be throwing it in for Canada. It's stolen by the Blitzbox. Throws it back, kicks it out. 
and that will be the end of the game. South Africa hold on it, and they do end up winning this game 19 points to 14, and that's game says Jack. So, yeah, very valiant effort from the Canadians, but they will just end up missing out. And now South Africa and Australia will more than likely be playing off to see exactly who ends up with themselves in that, I guess, dominant position, sitting first on your table rather than second. But nonetheless, I do appreciate all of you tuning in once again. Our next live stream, I will quickly get up that time so you guys know exactly when it has taken place. But the next game that we are going to be doing is at 11.20 a.m., and that will be New Zealand versus Samoa, followed by Fiji versus USA at 12.30 p.m. New Zealand time, and then Australia versus South Africa. That is at 1.30 p.m. And uh, dang it, hard luck. Canada uh, done it very well. And there, as I was, says, or done very well, I think that is. And man, South Africa struggling in there, says Hanley. Yeah, they've had a couple of close games currently, but who knows, maybe once they get through to that next stage, they'll just build up their confidence again for the South Africans. I think it's just finding that perfect combo that they are after. But nonetheless, do appreciate you all for tuning in. If you are new, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to check out that pinned comment up in the top corner as well for the Kiwi Lad Sport. But I will see you guys back in a couple hours for the next live stream. But I will see you all very soon.